Well, good evening wherever you are on this uh, most pleasant evening. There has been a clamour to get inside the ground tonight for a much-anticipated game. The uh, roads outside of the stadium have been bumper to bumper with traffic. The car parks are full. There is a torrent of humankind making its way from the nearby station and we expect every seat to be filled. An atmosphere of uh, great expectation and excitement. What we have in front of us this gloriously imposing arena, absolutely picture-perfect for a game of this nature. And we rise now for the Danish national anthem. impressive match that Two high-profile, high-caliber teams. This is a welcome event for all these supporters. Yes, Peter, it's a shame it's only a, a friendly, but then again, that may help us see a more expressive attacking contest. And I'd be prepared to settle for a, a clash of, of lesser intensity in favor of, of lots of flair, skill, and plenty of tricks, and a few goals. I suspect I've probably overstretched my, my level of greed here. So it's away we go then. Who do you, Jim, see making the difference here? Well, a player who's learned fast for me is Luke Shaw, a fullback who likes to involve himself in matters at the offensive end of the pitch, but he covers the ground with speed and, and a good work ethic, so I think he's coming on really well. OK, interesting. And it's Heuberg. Well, more than happy to take the muscular approach. Solberg. Rice. Kyle Walker. Rice. Kyle Walker. Denmark have made it clear what they're trying to do for me, Peter. What are they trying to do? Well, I think they're making the pitch as big as possible to work both flanks into, into better supply routes. And here's Sterling. And the ball's come out! Tolberg. Oh, good interception. Clears it out of harm's way. Phillips gets it back. Rice. He's looked long this time. Has a hit! Goal! England! England take the lead! Speed of thought, efficiency of movement, and certainty of outcome. Well, considering he has a bit of a, a shoot on sight policy, he was the one player that should have been picked up then. It was both careless and costly from where I'm sitting. England get themselves into the lead. 
Surprise, surprise. He just keeps on delivering and, listen, we all expect that. Sancho. Lobs it in gently. Shot a goal! It's there! And they're at it again in double quick time. Oh, a goal of real quality. He made it look ridiculously easy. Kane really showed his coolness, Peter, by not getting flustered on, on such a tough skill. And for me, it was controlled perfection. Things starting to look very comfortable. Well, it's been a, an absolutely fabulous spell for them, and they're starting to look unstoppable. There could be more on the way. Hoiberg. Marla delivers the ball. Stones goes looking. Kane puts his foot on the gas. Hoists it forward. England have a free kick. Well, I think the alternative was to stand there and, and do nothing while he, he tried to score. And obviously, he's not going to allow that, Peter, is he? There could be trouble here. But for now, the referee is keeping his cards in his pocket. This is the perfect opportunity to create a cushion between the sides. So England's free kick. He's having a go. Christensen can get it clear. Turns and goes back. Chance! A oh, great save, real class. The keeper really dug out his defence then. A magnificent effort. The ball is out of play. Forward it goes. Going through. And there's a long ball. We can get that clear. Rice, he hits it. Well, he doesn't need a second invitation, even from that range. For a moment you felt that was going somewhere, but they'll have to go again. And that is going to be the final action of the first half the first half compared with your expectation England just didn't want the half-time whistle to be blown convincing and controlled England in control at half-time 2-0 here we go again Vass gets wrestled off the ball Mance. And that's been one straight back. Little doubt, that is a foul. And he has shown him a yellow card. Looks like he's picked up a bit of a knock from that challenge. Denmark making a fresh attempt to release someone in behind from back to front, and this is something different.
Sterling. Sterling! Oh, that is very close. Ah, oh, that's a great effort. There was very little backlift to indicate what was coming. Hoiberg. Christensen plays it forward. Eriksen with the crossfield ball. Ball's loose, who's getting there? And it's played forward. Delaney, just brushed off the ball there. Mance. This defence is, is weary about opposition pace. So they're just not getting too tight. Yeah, they know that if they, they step up, their, their keeper could get a whole lot busier. He's got options out wide. Massive leap! And oh, he's got that completely wrong. Well, that's why we all say indecision is fatal. Denmark are able now to make their substitution. It's been on the cards for uh, a few moments now. Mant tries lifting it over. Out to the right. Dinks one in. Vass is there, and he can get that clear. It's a very good battle there, terrific to watch. Hoiberg. It's Kane! Oh, he's managed to get it all wrong. Well, there are a few pockets of space that are being exploited, and they need filling, and fast. Jard tries to get it forward quickly. And helps available out wide. Gets into some space. Finds foul, and a free kick in a very dangerous area. Just the talking to, I think. Yes, it is. Phillips tries to clear. Delaney. And the counter attack is on for England. Mant. Strong challenge, but well within the laws. Loses his balance and loses the ball. And it's Sancho. It's a fabulous position. Eriksen drives it forward. Can't get the better of his opposite number. And the whistle has gone for a reckless challenge there. And no surprise, that's a booking. Well, what goes through a player's head at times like that is a mystery to me. To the last five minutes. Vass. Well, that looks a foul. Yep, referee's given it. Some of them aren't happy with that challenge and they're getting involved. Steady. Boyberg certainly could have and should have made more of that.
Hoiberg hit long and direct. Four extra minutes added on. Paulson. That's a foul, no two ways about it. Do you think he's feeling the effects of that tackle? It's hit the crossbar. It's out of play, and it is a goal kick. Added time is up, and there goes the whistle. England always look the more driven side, probably the better side, and nobody is arguing about the results. How would you sum up what we've witnessed, Jim? What a